You know, Ramoshala Sasavan, I think I told you last time, was called to a sick person. And he says, Rabbi, I'm so sick, my doctor says I have three hours to live. Ramoshala Sasavan says, I swear to you. I swear to you. He killed it long. Huh. Gewalt, Ramoshala Sasavan swears? How much do you need? He died after three hours. So some said, Ramoshala Sasavan, Rabbi, how could you swear false? I didn't swear false. He lived for three hours. He was dead when I walked in, right? Well, what do you know? Every second is millions of eternities. Let me tell you something. The center of us Jews is the Holy Temple. We Jews exist since our father Abraham, which is approximately, let's say, 3,800 years. The Holy Temple was twice 400 years. I mean, it's sweet. Why is the Holy Temple the center? One minute alive can keep you going for a long time. Shabbos is only one day. And the week is six days. But give up. Okay, now, a person, what every person needs, the first thing we need is moments before we can really reach the level of being always, always on the level of Simcha. And nobody is. We are living in a world you cannot always be the Simcha. You cannot even always believe in God. You don't always believe in yourself. You don't always love. Even the people you love the most, you don't love them every second. You don't inhale every second, you inhale the next half. That's what makes life so exciting. <laughs> Imagine you don't only inhale the hot air. <laughs> you get crazy, right? Imagine that only be summer, go on your nerves, right? There only be day. You know how exciting God is? He makes all those changes every second. Imagine you'd always be in the same mood. You know what's so special about people? You call them up and you never know what kind of a mood they are when you call them, right? It's so special, right? Because if I know before what they are moving in, I know exactly what to say. I don't know. And you know something? There was one person, just taking myself as an example. One rabbi, straight rabbi, said to me, Shlomo, you have to change your whole format. You have to know exactly what you're singing, what you're saying. Take me, I prepare my speeches. <laughs> you know what's wrong with him? What does he know a week before what mood the congregation will be on Rosh Hashanah, right? You know, all the people who krecht so much that they're sad, okay, this is not the question. The question is, what are you doing at that moment when you can be happy? What are you doing at that moment? Are you catching that also? Are you, are you forcing yourself to be sad in order not to break the con I mean, <laughs> continuity of sadness? Or are you, are you ready, right? 